Hi everyone, in this video and in many of the subsequent videos, we are going to dig into regular expression, which is also known as regex. Regex is a very powerful function which allows you to pass strings of texts in ways that are otherwise very cumbersome to do if you were to use the standard Autohaki text passing functions. Regex can be a little difficult to wrap your head around it because it's known to appear very complex. But I trust my videos which are going to include lots and lots of examples for you to see regex at work and not just in theory will help you fully get up to speed with at least getting comfortable using and reading the regex patterns. Now in this video I'm going to start with a brief on my tutorial plan for the topic of regex followed by an introduction to regex in order key. Section 2 which is going to be starting from the next video is going to talk about regex match and needle regex and these are the input types that you would be using to formulate the needle regex to find patterns you want by using regex there are going to be quite a few videos in this topic with examples within various aspects of these input types so this is going to be a quite an extensive series section 3 will talk about regex replace and examples of it and also some other useful features of regex replace including counting the number of occurrences of matches and using back references section 4 is going to have more of the real life examples using regex match and regex replaces including extraction of particular information from a website or extracting email addresses and URLs from a random and unstructured data set and also using match object of regex and then the regex tutorial will be wrapped up with learning how to use the regex tester which is a tool created by somebody which is basically a GUI that helps you quickly find the regex matches and perform regex replaces and see the result in action okay so moving on to the first section which is the regex introduction in auto key now so regex is a sequence of characters for example a to z or 1 to 9 that specifies a search pattern for example all letters from a to z and all numbers from 1 to 9 now this search pattern becomes the needle to search for in a haystack which is the string you're going to provide into regex regex can either just find the patterns in which case it's going to be regex match or find and replace the patterns in the haystack which is going to be the regex replace regex is more flexible and powerful than the standard text passing commands and functions within autohaki however apparently it's slightly slower than them about this tutorial you could really spend an infinite amount of time mastering every single aspect of regex regex is a very extensive and you can go really deep into this topic and get really fancy with it though i personally don't think it's worth spending all the time of your life to explore every single possible thing in regex there are thousands of different ways you can use regex to achieve almost the same result for example all of these five lines will achieve the same result of extracting the number 75. for me whatever works is usually good enough and therefore my tutorial will just cover only what i think are the most important bits the most useful most commonly used features of regex instead of everything regex syntax in autoarchy autoarchy has two regex functions regex match and regex replace and these are the parameters that you can provide within the functions now what goes into the haystack is the string to perform the search in what goes into the needle regex is the regex pattern that we're going to extensively learn in the next video and the upcoming videos that you provide to find the matches you want what goes into replacement within regex replace is the text to replace the matches found or back references which is optional which i'm going to cover in one of the videos in future now so how to use the functions so to use the regex match function the regex match function will return the position of the first match in a variable if you assign result of the function into a variable in this manner so if you have a match on the fifth position within a string you get a number five in variable stored in this way it will return zero if no match 
was found. You can display the variable in this fashion to display the position of the match or you can just simply display the match by providing a variable name in the third parameter output variable and if you do message box output variable you will display the match in a message box or alternatively you can place a number one after the output variable and this is going to display just the sub pattern sub pattern are created when you put parentheses inside the needle regex and we're going to go into this a bit further later on if you want to use regex replace this is the way you can use this and regex replace will replace the matches found using the needle regex with the replacement string and store that very store the result into a variable like that you can also display the variable as you perform the regex replace there are other parameters that have been discussed above and starting position is one starting position basically specifies the position within the string that you want to start performing the searches from so if you specify a position of 100 it will st start from the 100th character within the string that you provide as a haystack output variable count in regex replace stores the number of matches found using the regex replace so if you found five matches using the needle regex within regex replace it will store the output variable count you can see it here it will store the number of matches in the output variable count and the limit in regex replace limits the number of replaces to be made so if you specify a value of three in that parameter it will only replace three matches the first three matches found now there are some topics that are outside the scope of my tutorial which are that shorthand for regex match is not covered this is basically the way to perform regex match in a shorthand but i'm not going to use this i'm going to just stick to the regular way of performing regex match POSIX is also outside the scope of this tutorial and POSIX is basically providing the needle regex in a more human-like language so this is going to represent a word-like pattern this is going to represent numbers and punctuation and spaces you can read more about this in this URL link now regular expression callouts is also outside the scope of this tutorial you can read more about this in this link and these are the links to the auto hockey documentation in relation to regex so this is it for today's video and in next video and the upcoming videos we're going to get our hands dirty working on some examples using regex thanks for watching and i'll see you in the next video